Hello everyone, are you ready for a one episode world? Well, welcome to the 100 acre world. What's wrong, little fella? I'm looking for my friends. Are they around here? It looks like nobody's here. So I guess I'm looking for nobody. Hmm? You're looking for nobody? Yes, I keep looking, but I'm getting nowhere. All the searching is making me hungry. I wonder if there's a bit of honey around here. But if I start eating, I'll have to stop searching. Why don't we look for your friends together? You mean, look for nobody? No, for your friends. They might be around here. Let's find them together. Are you looking for my friends too? No, but I'm looking for some friends of my own. Are they Pooh's friends? No, just a minute. I'm Pooh, not you. That's right. I'm Sora. My friends are different from your friends. But I know what it's like to miss your friends. So, why don't we look for them together? That sounds perfect. Help Pooh find his friends if you need The honey displayed at the top right of the screen is the source of Pooh's energy. Pooh will doze off for a while if he runs out of honey. The Hundred Acre Wood. So, as Winnie the Pooh, it is Joby One Kenobi. That's right, Joby does one hell of a Winnie the Pooh impression. Um, Piglet is Ninja Girl Sakura One. Owl is the L Man 101. Rue is Amber M, as you may remember as Wendy and Alice. Um, Eeyore is Lu Leto290, who is also Riku. Uh, Tigger is Future Keybearer, who you may know as Donald and like a hundred other people in this project. He's essentially the Mel Blanc of the series. And uh, very recently added uh, Harley Quinn 97 as Rabbit. Uh, however, these are not the cutscenes, these are just little talking things. So, carrots, cabbages, onions, all my vegetables must be sorted just so. So, this world is the most complicated mess I have ever seen. Like, just. Okay, so. You want to make sure that Pooh's honey bar doesn't run out and you need to see to all the characters here now rabbits is uber complicated because you need to make sure you do this first but he's actually the last one you deal with and what I just did there is all crucial to that believe it or not I know it that sounds stupid uh, but it is and uh, here's piglet and here's piglet Oh no no no! I I I'm nobody. You needn't pay me any mind. You're not Pooh's friend. No no no. Um. Oh no! I mean I'm not not Pooh's friend. I'm I'm. Why hello there, Piglet. Oh, it's you, Pooh. I'm so relieved. I finally found someone. I got separated from the others. I was so worried. I didn't know what to do. That explains why you were so fidgety. Piglet, why don't you come with us to look for the rest of our friends? What? Oh my. I don't know. Hmm. What should I do? Guess he doesn't want to come. Let's go, Pooh. Oh, wait. Did you make up your mind? Well, no. I'm still thinking. But I found something strange in the bushes. I would know what to do with it. You can have it. We learned to confuse. Nice. 
All right, well, let's continue on. Uh, try and avoid the balloons, if at all possible. Don't really need to deal with them. However, there is a large collection of balloons right over here, which, Pooh, you should definitely see. Hey, Pooh, go over here, look. Huge collection of balloons. You'll have a lot of fun. Come on. No, no. You cretin. You see, not the balloons I was referring to. What I was referring to was I was referring to this. Oh, a, a yoo-hoo. I'm over here. Come on. Balloons. Important. Very cool. Fun. Time to fly. I sense no man. I all right, Pooh. I had a wonderful time, Al. I could do that all day. Maybe you should use a balloon to look for your friends. You might think so, young man. But the problems start when you find them. Once you find your friends, how do you get down to them? A balloon goes where the wind blows. You have no control over where you go. What if you saw your friends, but the wind kept them just out of reach? I think I'd rather keep looking for my friends than find them and not be able to reach them. You've got a point. If you want to find someone, you'd best do it on foot. It can be quite exciting to stumble across a friend where you least expect them. Well, that's certainly how I feel when I stumble across some honey. That's the spirit, Pooh. The trick is to keep moving and keep looking. All right, Al. That's what I'll do. I can't wait to find some honey. Don't worry. I'll help Pooh find his friends. Splendid! Here's something to speed you on your way. Spellbinder. I think that's a keyblade. I may be wrong. I'm unsure. No, Pooh. Pooh, Pooh, Pooh. This way. This way. Come on. Come on. Need to restore that bar of yours. Because, you know, it's gone down a little bit. Not hugely important, but you do. Now, the next one is Roo. Um, and... Roo is in this hole. The, uh, the clue is with the footprints. Uh, so we want Pooh to go in there, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, if it isn't you, Roo, what were you doing in that hole? I was so busy looking for Tigger, I fell right in. Then why didn't you jump right out again? I was waiting for Tigger to come along. Then, when Tigger fell in the hole, why there it be? He'd be so surprised. Doesn't it sound fun? But what if he doesn't fall in? I think Tigger would bounce right over the hole. To tell the truth, I was getting a little lonely and tired of waiting for him to fall in. Instead of waiting, why don't you see if you can find him? You're right, that's a great idea! By the way, I found this in the hole. Why don't you take it? An elixir? My god, you're generous. Is it too weird to say that, like, Amber sounds unbelievably adorable <laughs> as, <laughs> as Rue? Is it, is it too weird to say that? Because, oh my god, it was super adorable listening to that the first time. I was just like, oh, that's it, you're Rue. There's no way you're... You, you must be Rue. You are my Rue. You're super adorable. Because Rue is a pretty adorable character. Now, the problem with a lot of online guides, um, unless you're looking at a video, none of them are helpful. Because they're like, oh, Tigger's up next. Um, and you need to jump from these, uh, uh, these uh, tree stumps. I'm like, how? Like, okay, I'll jump from them. Pooh needs to do it as well. Well, he doesn't. Pooh needs to jump up on one. Well, he doesn't. You see, the thing is, they don't order it right. You see Tigger next, but he's not the person you deal with next. Same with Rabbit. You see Rabbit first, but he's not the person you deal with first. You deal with him last. And the guide doesn't actually say specifically what you need to do. Like, not in great detail. So it's just like, ah, oh, just help me, please. But, yeah. You want to ignore Tigger. 
Uh, I can't remember specifically where I have to go for this. Yeah, there's gonna be a bush. No, no poo. Okay, if I get rid of it. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. That's handy. Yeah, I, there's a, there's a, there's a tree somewhere. Okay, it must be here because Eeyore. Yeah, because uh, there's a, there's a tree. There's a tree and some things. Then there's a tree with uh, with a a bee's nest and or hive, I guess. Uh, and you need to get who near it, basically. And then he'll freak out and have fun. And by fun, I mean he'll crap his pants. Uh, so yeah, come on, Pooh. You know you wanna. You know you. Ah, there it is. Isn't this fun? Oh, bother, my poor head. Well, much obliged, Pooh. Much obliged to you too, Eeyore. But what for? For running into that tree and getting my tail back for me. Why, I was just trying to get away from those honeybees. All I wanted was a tiny taste of honey. Oh, is that so? Well, you helped me anyhow. I thought there was honey in that tree too. I never guessed we'd find your tail. Oh, just an accident. Of course. No one would help me on purpose. But I'm still obliged. Thank you, Pooh and Sora. You're welcome, you. Here's something for ya. Hey, it's okay, Eeyore. It was just an accident. I know, but this fell down along with my tail. It's my accidental thank you. Bind. That is uber sad. <laughs> like, seriously. That is a really sad cutscene. I feel really bad for Eeyore. I would have helped him. If I had known it was there, I would instantly help him. Eeyore's a great character. Sad though. But okay. God, I hate this so much. So. You need... Oh, actually, what do you say? It's no use just jumping. You had to do it right. That wasn't nearly adorable S enough. So, you want... Oh, God, face the right way, sorry. You need Pooh to jump from... Is he actually... No, I was going to say, is he actually on it? You need Pooh to jump from... Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh, from stump to stump without falling off, which is proving oh so difficult at this moment in time. Come on, I know you can do it. Come on, Pooh. Okay. Actually, sorry. Come on, Sora. God damn it! Oh my god, I hate this. I actually hate this. And do you know what? I hate the next one more. Believe it or not. The next one is far worse. As I know that's hard to believe. But trust me, it is. No, Sora. Why? Why, Pooh? Oh my god! I, I... I... Joby, I love you. I want your character to die. I want him to die. Why are you so useless? It's not hard, Pooh Bear. Jump from log tree stump to tree stump log log. No! Oh my god! Pooh. Right, we'll start from over here. How are you doing it now? Do I not even have to be on it? Oh, this is super easy now. So, you feel like some bouncing with Tigger, eh? Did you see me jump? Sora showed me how. You got the idea, kiddo, but you're still not doing it right. 
What do you mean? Just imitating tender is no good. No matter how much you like my bumpin, you gotta try all kinds of bumpin. Make up your own style. I'm a tigger, and you're you. That's why it's fun. We wanted you to notice. That's why Pooh was imitating you. Now I see. If you want to see Tigger bounce, just say the word. Here I go. How am I doing? <laughs> Nobody bounces better. But don't just do what I do. You gotta bounce your own way if you want to be a bouncer like Tigger. <laughs> Why oh, look, Sora? Tigger dropped something. Idle romp. I have no idea what that is, but that was the worst. The absolute worst. So what you need to do for the cabbages is you need to be uber furrow. Um, right, Pooh, while you're doing that, have some honey. You know that honey thing you like? Have it. No, Pooh. Yes. Uh, right, yeah, you need to be very far here and hit all of them. Every single one. I want to make sure they're down. Good. Because there are some more. Oh, there are many more. So, this is seriously the worst thing. I'm, I, I hate this. I really do. So, the end is beyond there. But this is where the cabbages come into play. Oh, God, they're not even... Oh, no. You have to go beyond this line, and then a one cabbage at a time might fall. As you can tell right now, none are. Why? I don't know. I might just be unlucky. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please tell me I don't have to redo it all. They're all down, right? I've hit all the stumps, right? Yeah, they're all happy. I don't like bees. There we go. No. Oh, God. Yeah, this is how annoying it is. I'm not even joking. This is the only way to do it. How many cabbages do you have to hit? 14. Why? Who thought this was a good idea? Because it isn't. It's terrible. Three. Contemplating speeding it up. Why would I speed it up? I'll just cut it out altogether. You do not need to see this. My cabbages! I, what was that? Why was it so far down? Why was it not there like normal? Yes! That was close! Are you okay, Pooh? Yes, I seem to be. Where did all those cabbages come from? Yoo-hoo! Hello, Rabbit. What's all the fuss? Did you see my cabbages come rolling past? You mean those cabbages? My goodness, there they are, all nicely stacked. How kind of you. Carrying them is so troublesome. I thought I'd try rolling them, but it didn't work very well. So that's why those cabbages came chasing after us. It gave us quite a turn. <laughs> we almost got bowled over, you know. I'm very sorry. I was going to carry them in my cart, but someone broke it. It's quite annoying. I wonder who it was. Well, Rabbit, Sora and I... Whoa, whoa, um, Pooh, we'd better get going. We're in a hurry, right? Yes, I suppose you're right. Goodbye, Rabbit. Just a moment. I must repay you for stacking my cabbages. Thank you very, very much. I don't know how I would have done it without you. 
<laughs> Maybe you would have managed better without us. Now, what do you mean by that? N nothing. Synchro. Ain't having none of that Yu-Gi-Oh stuff here. Yeah, the good thing is while Pooh Bear is sleeping, he doesn't actually lose any uh, energy. Uh, so that's quite nice. No, poo, poo, fine. Have your honey. Fine, be that way if you must. Be that way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, I believe in you. Oh, hello. That's odd. These cabbages look as if they've been batted about. Well. Um. Mm -mm. Well. Yes, they are. Um, well, about that, you see. Uh, yeah, well, they, uh, mm -hmm, they have, really. Well, this is the end. This is... If you don't have the cutscenes, a very short world. But with the cutscenes, uh, it's, it's a bit longer. Still one video, though. Still making it super long. I guess we can't go any farther. So, what do you think, Pooh? Wasn't it more fun looking for friends together? Yes, you are right, Sora. I'd like you to have this with my thanks. Phew! I've walked so far. I think I need a little rest. If only I had a nice pot of honey to keep me company. Well, I'd better get going. Where are you going? I've got to keep looking for my friends. Then I'd better help you look for them too. That's okay, Pooh. You should stay here, in the Hundred Acre Wood. You mean, this is goodbye? No way! I'll always know where to find you. If I don't forget... Don't worry, Sora. You can count on me. Even if you forget Pooh, I won't forget you. Thanks, Pooh. Bambi! Who are you? That's no way to greet a stranger, Sora. I am Vexen. I've come to collect your debts. Do you owe him something? Of course not! Oh, but you do. You owe me for reuniting you with your former friend. You don't mean... Yes, I am the one who brought Riku to you. So, you're the one... You're the one who's been controlling him! What have you done with him? I see, no need to tell you. Why trouble you in your final moments? <laughs> oh, Vexen. Oh, Vexen. <laughs> oh, this is not a good start. Yeah, this is not gonna be an easy fight. And it's been a while since I played this, so I better be prepared. Oh, you're fun, aren't you? Hey, I did one hit on you! Nice! Wait, I have Blizzard on here, don't I? Oh, I've got to be careful. Blizzard will heal him. Oh, sweet! I'm liking that. Okay, I don't actually need to do anything. This isn't too bad a fight, actually. It's actually very... No! I really didn't mean to do that. <laughs> It's actually very manageable. That was the best laugh. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I, I maintain that is the best laugh. No, Goofy. No, Gooby. Why? Why did you miss? You weren't supposed to miss. You were supposed to destroy him. Annihilate him. Ruin his days forever. Yeah, unfortunately, he hasn't got much he's using against me. It's pretty simple. That will change. This isn't going to be the only time we fight him, and oh my god, he will be oh so much more powerful. Shatter! 
I don't know. <laughs> As I say that, I get hit. That did a lot of damage, actually. He had a 9. I'm surprised he didn't stop me. He could have very easily stopped me. Yeah, he's very slow at the moment, and I'm surprised about that. Uh, seriously, though, that will change in the second fight. He is not slow. He is fast, powerful, and will destroy me. This is... It's long, but it's an easy fight. The second one will not be easy at all. But I look forward to it. It'll be fun. You're too much trouble. <laughs> Get him. Ah, so close. Ah, oh, yes. Nice. That was also nice. I love when I get consecutive combos, it's beautiful. Still surprised we haven't got another cloud card. I mean, I know they're rare and all, but seriously. Like, it's disappointing is what it is. Freeze! I was gonna say, why am I not... Why am I not trying to stop him? I don't know. Kill. God damn it. Every time. Every time. At least I have a really good deck. That's that's all that matters at the moment. So yeah, Hundred Acre Wood was kinda slow, but As is this boss fight actually. Ironic. But it's alright, it'll pick up. Oh again. Boy does the game pick up now. It really starts to pick up. In very dramatic ways, and that's good. Freeze! Well. You're nearly dead. Unfortunately, we don't have many battle quotes for Vexen, and also, unfortunately, like, he's not giving me any chance for me to use them, really. <laughs> like, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> He is not doing anything for me, like, to warrant using many, which is a little bit disappointing. That was awesome. That is how you finish a boss fight right there. Wow, we didn't even level up from that. Splendid. As expected, you don't die so easily. As if I'd ever lose to you! You will yet have your chance. As we fought, I delve deep into your memory. And look what I found. This is a card crafted from memories locked in the other side of your heart. If you want to fight me for real, then step into the world within this card. Come back! Other side? What's he talking about? World card. Interesting. I got a bad feeling about all this. We should be careful. Another side of your heart? Is that where the stuff you forget goes? I just get worse over time. Is it just me? Or has Vexen finally lost it? Now he's done something really rash. What now, Axel? The show's over if Sora finds out about the other side. If he just passes through without catching on, we can patch things up later. But if not... Let Naminé handle this. In the meantime, Axel, you know what to do. No, I don't. Maybe you could spell it out for me? Rid us of our traitor. Done. There's no taking that order back later. A card made of memories from the other side of your heart. I wonder what it does. Only one way to find out. Besides, it's the only card we have left.
Well, isn't this getting interesting? You think that there are memories on the other side of my heart? Kind of scary. If you ask me, Bugsnet's waiting to spring a trap on us! You might be right. Well, that was the 100 acre wood. And this was a one one video like episode for the entire world. I could have split it up, but like the parts of it's just in Castle Oblivion. Well, I mean technically it's all in Castle Oblivion, but the parts that are Castle Oblivion solely uh, are, doesn't warrant a whole video, and Hundred Acre Wood shouldn't be split up. So yeah, it's kind of long, but it was a lot of fun. So hurrah! Uh, next time. Well, I wonder what that world card is. See you then.